I took a look at my Google Analytics the other day to see which search terms have been sending the most people over to my copywriting site lately, and I noticed a bit of a trend. I don't know, can you spot it? And this makes total sense to me from an SEO perspective, given the gravitational pull of this enormous blog post that I wrote a while back. It walks you through every last pixel of setting up your Psychology Today profile and optimizing it to reach the right people. So rather than recreate that post in video form, I've decided to link it below and film a little update for you, sharing my top three tips, speaking as a licensed psychologist and a copywriter for what's working really well in Psych Today profiles right now. Let's get into it. Okay, tip number one, address all things remote. So absolutely, at a minimum, you need a clear statement indicating that you're seeing clients or patients remotely. Psychology Today makes it really easy right in their profile builder to spell this out so that it's right up at the top of your profile and it makes you searchable. But it also means that you should be doing whatever you can to normalize and frame this as the regular way therapy is happening these days, because it is. You could include a photo of you sitting at your computer so that they can visualize what it's gonna look like sitting with you, with your background. You can let them know really clearly if you offer video services, phone, or both. You could list out the different devices that they could potentially use to access your services. For example, not everyone knows that you can attend therapy using just your phone. This is game-changing information for many people out there. And finally, you can also be weaving in acknowledgements of our remote reality into the narrative of your profile. Regardless of what you help people with, this has touched some aspect of their experience, in some cases, profoundly. Use what you know about people in general. <laughs> Most of us are working from home in some capacity, uh, overseeing distance learning in more confined spaces. There's, there's a lot of considerations that now influence people's experience of therapy that might be creating a barrier for them and make it seem less accessible. How can you speak to these potential questions and concerns that people have right there on your profile to invite them in to take the next step. And use what you know about your people in particular. For example, if you work with couples, they might be wondering, how does this work? Do we sit together in front of one screen? Do we log in from different devices? Does it matter? Or if you work with kids and do play therapy, caregivers might be wondering, how will that look in an online modality? Anything that you can anticipate for your people and speak to with regard to our remote reality is gonna be beneficial on your profile. This year has challenged us to make so many pivots and micro pivots to the way that we practice. So tell me in the comments, what adjustments have you had to make so far to your Psychology Today profile and how's it been working for you? Tip number two is to embrace video. Psychology Today now gives you the option of including a brief intro video along with your profile. And yes, I absolutely recommend you take advantage of this. Now, if you're thinking, I'm not super comfy on video, trust me, I get that. And if you're offering therapy services online, you've already overcome the biggest hurdle, which is showing your face while the camera is running. <laughs> At the time of this recording, many of us are approaching a full year of unanticipated teletherapy giant sip of water while we let that sink in. So as strange as it might feel to hit record and talk to a camera, you've probably been doing it for months now. So try to keep this in mind. As awkward as video can feel on our end, to our prospective clients, it's really helpful. It helps them visualize the experience of sitting with us, which is so super important, especially now. And finally, tip number three, celebrate your specialty. Now you and I know that there's a variety of different clients and patients who you could serve really well. But when it comes to your Psychology Today profile, now more than ever, it's essential that you focus in on one particular sweet spot, one type of client 
or couple or family who you dream of working with. I mean, look around. Demand for our services has never been greater. And so we owe it to the public and to ourselves to be supremely clear about who we're most qualified and most delighted to serve. Trust me, this is gonna help cut through all the noise on the platform and land your profile in front of the right people, smoothing and supporting their therapy seeking process and helping fill your schedule with your perfect people. And to prove to you how doable this is in real life, I'm gonna link a couple profiles below of some clever therapists who are following these tips to a T. Thanks so much for being here, friend. I know this is just the tippy top of the private practice copy iceberg. So in my next video, I'm gonna be back with some mistakes to avoid on your Psychology Today profile. Till then, I'll be cheering you on as you go out there and preach what you practice.